Hello, I'm going to briefly detail an incredibly useful tool for Firefox called Firebug. In short, Firebug is a website analysis plugin. It's for debugging web pages. This tool can be very useful when creating a slide deck. We can quickly identify inherited CSS styles of the slide deck, as well as identify and resolve HTML errors and JavaScript errors. So let's quickly review how to install Firebug in case you've never done so before. First, open your web browser and visit www.getfirebug.com. Click the big red installation button in the top right hand corner. When the plugin has completed the installation process, Firefox will need to restart. Great. Now that you've installed the plugin, let's explore it a bit. In the bottom right hand corner of your browser, you will notice a small bug icon. Clicking this icon will open the Firebug debugging panel. F12 will also toggle the panel open and closed. There are a ton of uses for Firebug. My goal is to familiarize you with the plugin enough that you can use the essential tools to debug and customize your slide deck. So now that you have the plugin open, look to the far left and you'll see a small Firebug icon. This is where you manage the plugin settings. Directly to the right is a blue cursor. This is the Element Inspector tool. With this tool, you can use your mouse to pinpoint the exact element you wish to inspect. It's pretty cool. The next option is the console tab. When enabled, the console will report any errors you wish to be notified of. We will be most concerned with JavaScript error reporting. Moving on to the next option, we find the HTML tab. This tab works in congruence with the Element Inspector tool. In the HTML tab, you can drill down into every level of the web page. When using the Element Inspector tool, clicking an element will pinpoint its place in the HTML tab. Let's give it a whirl. Watch as I change the style of a slide deck with just a few simple clicks. Now imagine that I wanted to change the color of a subheading to my smart slide deck for WordPress. How do I know which class name needs a new rule? The process is simple. I'm going to right click the element I wish to inspect and go down the drop down to inspect element. The HTML tab flies open, and it highlights the exact div of the subtitle we have chosen. We can now identify the unique class name of this element, SD node time since. To the right of the HTML tab is the style tab. Inside of the style tab, we can see all of the cascading styles affecting SD node time since. There's a color style, font family, font size, font style, even margin. Firebug allows you the ability to hide any given style at your will. Say I wanted to remove the margin bottom of the title. If I go to the left of the property and select the exclude icon, you'll notice that the paragraph below now jumps higher because there's no longer a margin bottom to push it down. Now I'm going to change the color of the title. Instead of selecting the exclude icon to the left of the property, I'm going to click the properties value which is to the right in blue. Upon selecting it, it's now highlighted and I can change the value to anything that I prefer. I'm going to change it to a nice gold color. Additionally, you can add new properties to an element that don't currently exist. So if I right click the rule and go to new property, I'm now given a text field. In this text field, you're going to enter the new property followed by a colon and the property's value. In this case, I'm going to hide the title. Display colon none. Poof, it's gone. It's very important to understand that these ad hoc changes that we've made do not affect the file properties themselves. Refreshing the page or opening the page in a new window would not maintain any changes that we've made. We would have to take these styles and move them to our style sheet file. Then they will take effect. I hope that you have found this instructional video useful. Be sure to check out the next segment, which also details how to use Firebug to customize and troubleshoot your slide deck. Thank you.